what's up YouTube and in this video I'm going to be teaching you cellular transport this is the first lesson that I've taken in quarter two and I find it really interesting this time you know cellular transport has so many interesting facts and interesting things about it, it so I'm going to tell you in this video without any further ado let's get into this so diffusion Diffusion is a movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. Hmm, that seems interesting. As you can see in this photo, you can see it has so much, uh, so much blue stuff going on on the further right, but on the left, it doesn't have that much. Well, you can see it's the other way around. Now about diffusion. About diffusion is the part of particles of gases liquids and solids they are in random motion so they are moving and colliding with each other that is what we have with those three states of matters in the diffusion and brownian motion brownian motion is a substance that dissolve in water and it will move constantly in random motion this random motion causes diffusion so basically that's what brownian motion is this is what Brownian motion looks like. You can see all those colors, all this uh, diffusion. And here are the three examples of diffusion. So smelling the aroma of cooking food, tea bag placed in a cup of hot water and it will diffuse into water. <coughs> and placing ink in a liquid will also diffuse the color. Like you place any ink or any substances in the water, it's going to diffuse. And diffusion is controlled by those three things. Temperature, pressure, and concentration. Something interesting here. And the rate of diffusion. So the higher the temperature, the faster the particles move. Basically when the temperature gets higher, like when it gets more hot, then the particles are going to move faster. And when the pressure is higher, like when you're forcing a forcing anything you put more pressure the particles are going to get closer so basically this is how it works now we have two types of transports we have active and passive passive transports is movement of particles across the cell mem cell membrane without using energy basically passive transport is automatic active transport are movement of particles across the cell while you use energy basically it's not automatic and it requires energy now there are three modes of passive transport diffusion which I already told you earlier facilitated diffusion and osmosis interesting stuff here like I said and facilitated diffusion facilitated diffusion and movement of materials across the cell membrane the cell plasma membrane using proteins like ions and small molecules. And there are two types of proteins. Channel protein and carrier protein. Channel protein are substances moving into the cell through a water-filled transport protein. And carrier protein changes its shape as the diffusion process continues. Something interesting here. So those are the two types. And osmosis. Osmosis is a diffusion of water across the selective perm permeable membrane. So this is what osmosis is, and you can see this is what it looks like. Thanks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And that was a really interesting lesson that I've taken in the second quarter. So there you go, guys. I explained as much as I could, and... I showed you the m most interesting facts in this lesson. So if you like this video, please leave a like. That'd be really great if you leave a like. And I'll try to teach you guys more of the interesting biology lessons in the near future. So stay tuned for those. Alrighty guys, so I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.